What is up guys, Chris here at Bear Market Mining. Thanks once again for stopping by. So you read the title, we're comparing a 5950X and a 7950X paired with the 3080 10 gigabyte on Warthog. So I've just built a 5950X rig. Um, so I figured I'll put it through the paces. I've got a 7950X already and I wanna find out which is the better CPU uh, for Warthog Mining using a bunch of different metrics, right? Um, efficiency, hash rate, you know, hash per dollar, all that sort of stuff. So we'll get into that today. But firstly, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll move straight into it. So let's have a look at uh, a few of these numbers so you can get a bit of an idea of, uh, of what we're working with here. So we've got the 5950X, we've got that 3080, like we said. So. GPU is pulling 117 watts now. All of these numbers will be important later um, because we're going to do a few different comparisons like we said. So having a look at our uh, overclock. So we've got 1480 on the core. We've got 250 on the core offset and 810 uh, for the memory clock lock. The OC power limit doesn't really matter too much. Um, and 30 threads. Now I think by default it uses 29 or 30. I have pushed this up to 31 and you can push it up to 32 as well. Um, you know, if you want to squeeze as much out as possible, but it does recommend leaving one uh, thread just so that the uh, system can run itself. So we'll have a look inside the miner itself and, uh, and see how much headroom we've got left at these 30 threads and just see what sort of efficiency numbers the GPU is giving right now. So as we can see in here, 6.92 mega hash per watt. That's just for the GPU itself now. It would be really, really nice if these miners could uh, could give us power numbers for the CPU itself without having to put it on a power meter and, you know, deduct the motherboard, the fan, etc. But we've done that anyway. Um, but it'd just be nice if it was in there. Maybe it's harder than I know. I'm not too sure, but... 23% left is the CPU buffer. So this is like I was saying, you could add another thread. We're at uh, 30 threads right now and get that down to about, uh, I think it's like a 20 or sorry, a 15% CPU buffer. Oh, it's gone back up there, jumping around as we said. So 817 mega hash. It does generally sit around the 830 mark, but you know, them's the breaks right now. Of course, it's slightly different when we record because that's how it works. The thing that, uh, that shits me with stuff like this is it's only reporting 729 on the pool. Now we are on uh, hero miners, you know, so we're only getting 90% of the hash rate pool side, and that does matter. It's all about what you can get at the pool. But for the sake of the test today, we will just take the numbers uh, that we can see in Hive OS. For our first metric, we are gonna figure out exactly what has the better uh, dollar per hash, right? So what's gonna get you more bang for buck for these two uh, builds the 7950X and the 5950X. Now we haven't included the graphics card because we're just looking at building the rigs themselves and comparing the 5950X with the 7950X. So these numbers and prices here are in AUD. For some reason, uh, this website couldn't find the numbers in USD. So go figure. It also has not included the cost for the uh, fan, the cooler, but that's fine because neither of them have right so we're getting an even idea without the cooler itself now this cooler is about 40 aussie dollars so do the math on that 27 us dollars or so so we've got the numbers we've converted them over here into usd so we know exactly what we're working with now i'll pull up the uh, mega hash that we've got from both of these builds and then we compare the numbers so as we can see 5950X on the left, 7950X on the right, both with a 3080, both with the exact same overclocks. Now, one thing to note, um, on the 5950X, this fan is running at 63%. This fan is not running at all. So that's the difference in power there. Um, as you can see, this one's also been online for uh, 16 hours. This one was online for three minutes. So we've used the same exact power numbers when we're figuring a bit of stuff out later, but those are the numbers. 822 mega hash on the uh, 5950X and 973 on the 7950X. Okay, so the dollar per hash score. 
As you can see on the left, we've taken the 708 AUD, converted it to USD. This is the 5950X and on the right, the 7950X. Now, we've also added an additional 40 bucks um, just to allow for that cooler, you know, cheapy RAM, cheapy SSD as well to spit out an overall uh, cost per mega hash. And on the left, as we can see, 60 cents or so um, for the 5950X and 66 cents for the 7950X. So about 10% better for the 5950X. Now, of course, a small, small difference, but every cent counts. It depends on what your situation is. For some people, the dollar per hash is important. For others, it's just about that overall hash rate. So overall hash rate, obviously the 7950X is, is always gonna win over the 5950X, but the dollar per hash, that goes to the 5950X. Next up, let's talk about the payback period. How long will it take you to mine as much Warthog in dollar value for what you've paid for these rigs? So when we jump on over here onto the calculator, wartscan.io, on the left, we've got the 5950X. On the right, we've got the 7950X. Now in USD, those builds I showed you before for the 5950X was $461.27. On the right in the 7950X was $605.75. So the revenue totals for each on the left, we've got $1.72 and on the right, we've got $2.03 USD. Now you can work out your profit from this. Literally everybody has a different electricity rate. So for some of these videos, I'm not gonna throw in my electricity rate because it may not be relevant um, for all of you, but how the numbers lie, 268 days for the 5950X as far as a quote unquote payback period or until you've mined uh, the same amount back worth of Warthog, 298 days for the 7950X. Now, like we said, this does not include the 3080, so you can add those additional numbers on top if you want, but about a month sooner on the 5950X. Now, these are all brand new prices as well wanted to keep it as uh, as comparable as possible. So I think if you are looking just at, uh, you know, the time to pay the rig back, um, just in the revenue, the 5950X would take the cake. All right, let's talk about the CPU efficiency. So we know we've both got a 3080 on each respective graphics card. 3080s have the exact same overclock settings and both of these CPUs pretty much have the exact same undervolt curve optimizer and everything else. So 822 mega hash as we know versus 973. Now 1.23 amps was the total power reading and I'll put a couple of our random screenshots of these uh, watt meters up so you can uh, you can see them and you believe me and 1.34 amps. Uh, that works out to 295.2 watts at 240 volts and 321 respectively. We've put the GPU power at exactly the same because it will ramp up. Like I said, one was on longer than the other. The fans are working harder. Slight variance in wattage there. We've given an estimate, a rough estimate of 50 watts for the uh, fan, MOBO, stuff like that. It may be slightly more, it may be slightly less, but they're even across the board here. So. 121 watts we're using on the 5950X and 147.6 on the 7950X. So as you can see, yet again, the 5950X is coming up trumps here, winning another category, 6.78 mega hash per watt versus 6.59 mega hash per, uh, per watt. Very, very different, 2.8% more efficient. For some reason, Excel is doing some random thing here where maybe it's rounding one and not rounding the other, but you get the gist, slightly more efficient on the 5950X. The last thing I wanted to uh, check out was just like a head-to-head -head comparison on a couple of other coins. Now, I'm over here on hashrate.no, as you can see, comparing the two uh, CPUs. I don't have all the numbers on all of these coins for both of these, so I figured we'd check out here just for a bit of a baseline to see uh, to see what does better. While we look at these numbers, if you see some numbers or you have some numbers that are different, let me know down in the comments because I'll add those in uh, to my calculators as well so we can get a bit of a more accurate number here. Um, firstly, starting Astro BWT V3, exactly the same efficiency, but you know, 
way, way, way more hash rate on the 7950X. They don't have numbers here for the Crypto Knight Turtle Flex. Um, way better on the 7950X and more efficient. Um, what do we got here? Ghost Rider, way 100 watts, 155 watts. Okay, see, this is what I mean. Somebody help me check these numbers because some of these, when I was reading them before, seem a little bit off. Uh, better hash rate, way more efficient. Apparently on Ghost Rider, Minotaur X, they don't have the numbers. Uh, Random X, way, way, way more efficient on the... Uh, on the 5950X, which is pretty nice, if it's accurate. Spectre, same again, efficiency goes to the 5950X, and I think it does for these last few as well. So really hard to know. Um, let me know, guys, what you guys have numbers-wise for these, and, uh, and we'll have a bit of a chat. Or join the Discord and throw the numbers at me. Link is in the description, because some of these seem a little hard to believe, but hey, maybe they're not. Maybe they're right. So there we have it guys, full wrap up the 5950X versus the 7950X. Now on these uh, metrics that I looked at, you know, uh, the payback period, the dollar per hash and the CPU efficiency numbers on Warthog alone, seems like the 5950X came out on top. But I mean, if you're just going for that yield, right, trying to get as much uh, Warthog or any coin in general, obviously the more powerful CPU, the 7950X is going to win every day of the week. You know, that's a that's a no-brainer. You might be able to get uh, the 5950Xs a fair bit cheaper um, secondhand, which would probably increase that uh, dollar per hash winning score. You know, the AM4 versus the AM5 parts as well. So, you know, hard to know whichever direction you're going. Um, you can have a look at these metrics and maybe get a bit of an idea of, of what will work out for you. So, that will wrap it up guys hopefully you gained a little bit of uh, of information from that do appreciate you watching like and subscribe for me hit the discord the link is in the description and i'll see you in the next one peace attention crypto miners are you ready to level up your mining game then look no further than cryptominerbros.com your go-to source for top of the line mining equipment Crypto Miner Bros stock the latest ASIC miners and partner with the most trusted brands like Bitmain, Goldshell, Jazzminer, and Ice River, just to name a few. Plus, with manufacturer's warranties of 6 to 12 months, worldwide shipping, and 24 7 customer support, you're fully covered no matter where you are. And don't forget, you can use code BEARMINER at checkout or click the link in description to save $70 on all products store wide. Visit CryptoMinerBros.com today and start mining smarter.